name is Teresa and I wanted to do a video on a mystery jewelry box that I got from Quick Lots. Um, I paid $4.60 for it and wanted to see if it was worth getting so that I can try to resell it for more money. So I wanted to invite you guys to open this with me and go through it. Okay, so we're going to start with this first item. Now, they did say they give you 20 items per box. Um, they do say that they you should be able to make your money back plus some. So, And uh, most of these are supposed to be returns um, or shelf picks. So we're going to go through and see what we actually have. I can tell you this first one is coming from... Okay, so the first one that we got, the description is... Says it's a sterling silver adjustable Byzantine. Um, and it looks like a very pretty necklace. It doesn't look or appear to be anything broken on it. Um, it has, I don't know where this comes from, maybe you guys know, but it has a diamond on the picture of the case. But, alright, there's no price tag or anything on it, so I don't know what its value of it is. I'd have to look that up. And see if I'm able to do that at a later point. But all the jewelry that I got, they did say that it was sterling silver grade or better. So I guess we this one it does appear to be sterling silver. Second one I got said so it's a sterling silver foxtail. And it does not say where this came from either, but it's another picture of a diamond. And it appears to be another sterling silver necklace. Doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. Again, there's no price tag on it. So it's no idea how much this is worth. It looks like it was returned on February 18th, which wasn't that long ago. It was maybe about a month ago. Now we have something that's a sterling silver snake ring. It does have a price tag on the outside of it from Kohl's for $175. And it has, it looks like a return receipt on it. And it's a very pretty ring with snake with blue eyes. And it does have the 925 stamp in it. So this is one ring for 175 looks like that actually pays for almost half the lot this is a sterling silver foxtail as well and this one actually looks like it comes from Kohl's and this has a diamond on it so I guess this would be Kohl's and this there's a return label on it doesn't really give the description this looks like a bracelet And there's no price tag on this. Let's see if this actually is broken or not. It does not appear to be broken. So it doesn't see anything wrong with it. And it does have the 925 stamp on it as well. Okay, the next thing we have is also from Kohl's. It actually has a price tag on the outside for $165. And it actually has the original price tag on it. And it is a ring that is, says it's a yellow pin. I'm not sure what that means. But it doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. It is sterling silver. So with this, $175 ring and the other one we're at $350 from the $460 that I did pay plus the other jewelry we've had so so far it looks like we've we're getting there and there's still quite a few left all right this is a sterling silver ounce ring this has a price tag of $125 and it says it's a size 10 
And this looks like it's another return. And this is also from Kohl's. And it's a multicolor ring. Looks very, very pretty, very stunning. Here is another ring. This one does not have a price tag on it, but it does have, it's an SSS three stone sim sapphire. It does not have a price tag, but it is a very beautiful, um, looks like a black ring. And it does have the 925 stamp on it. So it is an official ring. I'm sorry for the for the kitty cats. I'm running a kitty cat day farm here. All right, here's another one, and this comes from it says S uh, Sterling Silver Aquamarine Ring. Let's see what this is. This also does not have a price tag on it. Doesn't have. I guess these are the return labels. Hard to open. There we go. This is the aquamarine ring. Very, very pretty. Beautiful stone. I'm trying to see if it has. Yes, it has the 925 stamp on it. Very beautiful ring. I have no idea how much this is worth either. Some of these things I'm going to have to look up and see if I can find them to get a value on them to see how much they are. Okay, here we have another ring. This one is also says it's um, sterling silver Swiss blue topaz ring. Again, no price tag on it. And then this is the blue topaz. That's actually a really beautiful ring too. Okay, and it does have the 925 stamp on it. Very beautiful ring. Okay, here we have a sterling silver created aqua marine. And these look like a pair of earrings. No idea what's wrong with them. They don't give any of that information. So far, it doesn't appear to be anything wrong with any of the jewelry they've given. And these are earrings. Very beautiful looking earrings. Alright, it does have the 925 stamp on them as well. Again, I have no idea what the value of these would be, but we'll have to look those up. All right, this has a price tag of $325 on it. And this is a gold over silver ruby and sapphire ring. And it's a very beautiful ring as well. So this actually, between us and the other two rings that did have price tags, they um, not pretty much paid for the want right there. Very beautiful. We still have more to go. Okay. So this is another ring. This was a return. This has a $200 price tag on it. The size is a 7.25. Let's see if there's anything wrong with this one. Does not appear to be. Let's see. Well, there's some very small hands, that's for sure. Okay. Hello, by the way. I'm the camera person. I'll be coming in. Okay, so there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with this, but I do not like it because it's... If you have the most smallest wrist, buy this. 
Uh, yeah, but see, look, when you're trying to put this in, you have to get these sides to clamp on, and I think this would be a pain in the neck, personally. If you have a small wrist and can do tiny things, you should buy this. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I guess it helps if I put it on right. That was apparently the problem. Okay. So, this is a, I just think for $200, this bracelet should be a lot easier to put together. But it is really beautiful. So, look at that. All right, so now we have definitely more than paid for our lot so far. And we still have more to go. And this is, I wonder what this says. Uh, no. It says, call back, send to D.C. No, they did not send it to D.C. They sent it to here. Okay, <laughs> so this is a sterling silver 8 millimeter created opal crown. Okay, that's my cat. My cat seems to love the jewelry more than I do. Yeah, you seem really boring. <laughs> Alright, so this is the... This has a 925 stamp is on it right white, here. Is that a white, white blue color? Yeah. And this has a 925 stamp. I don't know if you can see that. It's very difficult to see, but... Um, it is pretty. Yeah. Looks like confetti. <laughs> I have no idea how much the price would be on that either. All right. They did say sterling silver, and it is sterling silver. Okay, so this one is an 18 inch. It's priced at $150. It looks like most of these, or if not all of these, came from Kohl's. So they did, and they did say sterling silver, and they, they are, so, um, this one is, what is this? This is a RP Sim Morganite Teardrop. It is pretty. What is this? It's apparently a teardrop. Is that gold? It looks like it. I can't really tell. I have no idea what this is. But that's all I know is it's valued at $150. So it has to be, it's not going to be something that's... Like a gold color, but... Yeah. And the chain matches the color of the teardrop. What it's just you yellow. See? If you like yellow, here you go. What does that say on here? Can you see what that says? See the writing on there? Well, you have to use something with a zoom to be able to see that. Alright. Finger? No, yeah, we'll have to look that up there. I'm not sure what that is. Alright, that's oh, no. the next thing. Well, it'll tell you usually if it's like... Sterling silver, it'll be stamped with like a 925 inch, usually that's small writing. So I'm not sure what this is. I mean, it says RP, but I'm not sure what RP stands for, honestly. Okay, this is a sterling silver, looks like a pair of earrings. And this looks like it was definitely returned because the box is all broken up pretty badly. I have no idea how much it was. Uh, that does not say. Let's just get the answer. Okay, so these are these earrings. It's sparkly. Yes, it is sparkly. And it is sterling silver. I personally do not like these, but I'm sure somebody would. These came from Kohl's. These are apps nine. These are valued at fourteen dollars. Like 
It just looks like maybe, hopefully, they just threw that in there because, you know, they said 20 items of sterling steel. This is not sterling steel. They're nice, but they're not sterling silver. I don't know how you see that as nice. They have just little holes in them. Yeah. You do that to anything. Just yeah. poke little holes. Certain dresses would look nice. Right? But I'm going to put this on this side because in case that wasn't supposed to be with it, we'll see. Okay. The next thing we have says it is a men's Figaro chain. Okay. Well, he's going to come into the picture once or twice more because he won't. He does not want to stay away. Okay. So this is. A Figaro chain, and it's men's. I don't know, men has to have a very small neck for this, but you know. I mean, it could be for girls. It doesn't have to be for men. No, well, it says men's. No, we're men. No, 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 no. Yeah, no price tag on that either. I mean, at least all the jewelry is in good condition because we really don't know what we're getting, so it's you know kind of a chance every time. But everything so far seems to be in good condition, so. Alright, this is also from Kohl's. It says it's a web exclusive. It says non-damaged. Well, that's good. It says non-damaged. And it's sterling silver crown amethyst. Yes. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, Jan, your favorite color. Look at that, that purple. So they are sterling silver earrings. I do like purple, but I don't like earrings, so. Yeah. By the way, sorry if the camera's on shaking. I'm on a bed. I'm on a phone. We are not rich enough to get camera equipment. Well, maybe we will after this, huh? <laughs> you can tell we're not rich. We're going on YouTube, posting a video. Of mystery jewelry boxes. All right, so this has a price tag of two seventy-five, and it's okay. So this is a sterling silver CZ ring. A what ring? A CZ ring. I don't know what that is, but it's very shiny. It's very pretty, very bulky. Very confusing. And it doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. So, it's nice. So, so far I'd say we were, I don't know, it's probably about, about a good, let's see, about a good 700, 750 worth of things that we know the price of. This is something else for 150. Oh, and it is separated in different bags. I don't know why. This is a RP Slim Morganite Teardrop. And it's stapled together. I don't know why. I don't even... Okay. I don't even really know what this one is. Is this the, is this the necklace the, that goes on the necklace? They gave me two of these. So it looks like maybe the charm that actually goes on the necklace. So I have two of these. And it has a price tag of $150. And the package separately. These could be earrings. I was thinking that, but I didn't see any way that they opened. Do as a way. Look right here. Let me see. A little piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe you're right. It's just weird that they're separated like that. How do you know they're expensive? Alright, we have down our last two boxes here. Now I'm going to count and make sure that they gave me 20 pieces. These are 14 karat gold, like gold earrings. So. This is also Put them here. It doesn't look like anything is wrong with it. 
see. They have this separated too, so maybe they do separate it. Well, you separate all the earrings. These are very nice. I have no idea how much they were valued or how much they were worth. Looks like all these came from Kohl's. So I'm not complaining because they have very good quality. And Kohl's is very reputable you know, company. Shout out to Kohl's. And apparently Quick Lots at the moment because they're the ones who gave me this. Quick Lots? Box. Yeah, Quick Lots. Shout out they to Quick Locks. They sell a bunch of different gradations and I haven't seen any videos on jewelry so I figured I would try it. Just see what happens. By the way, she's my mother, and she doesn't watch YouTube. <laughs> so if you do do this, and she hasn't found you, don't blame her. She's very boring. That is why I'm here. And I can't even make this funner, because it's so boring. Okay, this is a sterling silver double curved chain for the neck. Right, that's very pretty. It's very shiny. a big necklace. Yes, it is. And it does have the 925 star silver on there. I don't know if you can see that. China? No. What does that say? Yeah, 925 China. Okay. Well, 925 is 925. Okay. And this also did not have a price tag on it. So, you see, we did get um, all sterling silver, except for that one. I don't know what that one was, but we did get what they said that they were going to give us. Um, nothing is damaged, which is really good. So, that was one of the things I was afraid of when getting this jewelry was you know, getting any type of broken jewelry that you can't sell or do anything with, and that does not appear to happen, have happened. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, put this one here, ten, put this one here, eleven, twelve, 13, 14. As she count, look at the cute kitty. 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, this one came out. Okay. 19, 20, 20. So we got 21 plus that other box of that jewelry, whatever that was. All in all, I mean, it looks like it was a really good deal. Um, it looks like this stuff should sell very easily. Nothing looks damaged. All looks really great quality. Um, and I think that we're going to have to let you know how that goes with a follow-up video. I will say that from the things that were priced out, 325 200 175 I'm going to have to do some math here. But I'm looking at, I think, at least $900 of things that were priced and still a whole box full of things that have no price tag. So I do feel like we got our money's worth on this lot. And uh, for those of you that might be afraid to buy a jewelry lot box, at least from Quick Lots, it seems like it would be reasonable. All right, well, thank you for sharing this with us. And we'll do a follow-up on how this kind of went along and how we sold it. A final goodbye is shout-out to Quick Lots. <laughs> Bye.